check this out. Small rig. Okay, so we'll throw it into here. Look at that. Clip that in. We've got a handle. This little thing right here. And we can obviously follow focus with this. We just need a screen on the side. How good is that? Small rig, uh, pretty much a jack of all trades, nailing everything, come out with cages, come out with lights, they're coming out with follow focus systems. They're really disrupting the industry and I love it because they are super cheap and super quality. So this is what we're gonna be talking about today and also the experience using this with the obviously Sony a7R5, which you would have saw uh, a few videos ago as well. And we did a, uh, a video with Christina, which you would have seen then in the gym. It's fantastic and I got to use this one, but I also used this with the Sure anamorphic lenses as well with the car shoot I did with the uh, Sony a7R5. But this has been a fun time. There's so much versatility when it comes to utilizing these things, you can obviously have it just as is, put it onto the side of, uh, of your camera, and this is great. So Small Rig Magic Fizz is engineered with multiple modes with flexible combinations, highly smooth wireless control solutions for multiple scenarios. It has three different kits that you can actually purchase. The wireless follow focusing basic kit, which is just the follow focus in the motor. You've got the wireless follow focus hand grip kit, which comes with the hand grip, or you have the wireless follow focus two motor kit, which comes with the hand grip, the focus wheel, and two focus motors. It has a really nice smooth wireless focusing control that gives you up to 100 meters or 328 feet. It comes with a high torque output of 0.5 Newton meters and is compatible with five to 16.8 volt power supply. You can actually switch between 16 different channels to obviously enhance anti-interference performance and just give you much more reliability while filming. So if you're anything like me, you love using manual lenses and obviously you can't just grip and rip all the time. It is definitely more viable and uh, more practical to be using follow focus systems and Small Rig have now brought theirs out. This is the Magic Fizz. Now this one actually comes with two of these focus motors and this could be a really good thing to have especially if you do want to control your uh your aperture or your zoom and you want to control your focus as well now this is the dzo cata zoom lens which you do have a zoom and you do have the focusing motor so you can actually attach both of these on there and have full control of that if you want to do it by yourself it's going to be a little bit more difficult but obviously uh, but if you do have a first ac they have full control over these two the great thing about this one is that you can obviously attach the side handle to this which i've been using pretty much just this one i haven't really been using this one too much uh, but you know i've used this sort of style before especially with the tilter version but this one is a wireless system as well so all you need to do like i said in the start connect this top screen onto it very quick and easy put a cannon battery in the bottom and you're away to go it is completely wireless up to 100 meters of which i think about 328 feet or something like that um it's a pretty good range obviously it really depends on what is in between but if you are sort of focusing, you don't wanna to be too far away from your cinematographer anyway, but you know, majority of the time I am controlling it myself and uh, I love the handles, mainly for the fact that the handles just seem a little bit easier when you're sort of focusing forward and back. If it's sideways like this, you're kind of thinking, well, which way's forward, which, way, which way's back? And you're kind of confused and you really have to get used to it. Whereas you're like, okay, well, I'll go backwards so I can go backwards. If I go forwards, it'll focus forwards. Uh, you can obviously change the direction of that. You can flip this over the other way, change the direction of the screen so the screen's not upside down. There's so many focus motors that you can't actually do that. So that is a big pro with this one. It can uh, obviously light up. You can change a whole bunch of colors. You can also press record on here so this could be a wireless transmitter to your camera and hitting record it has a really nice 0.96 inch oled screen that supports forward and reverse switching and it just has a really nice easy interface the handle controller actually has a built-in 1400 milliamp hour lithium battery that can last up to 20 hours it can also be powered through usb interface it's compatible up to 5 to 12 volts the wireless hand grip can also be powered through USB-C and can be powered up to 5 to 16.8 volts, or it can be powered through the standard LPE6 Canon batteries. 
Now the wireless focusing motor can also be powered through USB-C for 5 volts or up to 16.8 volts, but it can also be powered through externally with an MPF battery plate. Now, like I said, it does support a few different camera types when it comes to control cables, and it also supports a few different cameras with Bluetooth. And here it is right here on the screen, but you can also check the website as well to see if it suits your camera. And this will allow you to be able to record through the wireless follow focus system. So I guess one of the great things about the attachments that you actually get in the box is that uh, you have so many different options of mounting these. Now, this one obviously is a NATO rail. This one is a RE thing with locating pins and uh, I suppose you could have this on a shoulder rig as well I assume I'm not 100% sure what that one is uh, but this one obviously is a female NATO rail so that one goes onto the NATO rail and you can connect it to pretty much anything you want this is on my first AC rig and uh, that's the great thing about these is that if you are giving this to a first AC you do have many different options for them to mount this but obviously I've been using this one right here on my actual rig and I'm a cinematographer this is what I'm using pretty much by myself but there are so many different options that you can actually have and the great thing about small rig as well is that they've got other options that is able to be utilized with a whole bunch of these things and it just gives you so much more versatility because small rig pretty much does everything let's be real they're the jack of all trades and the master of all trades as well <laughs> they literally do everything so uh, that's a great thing. I'll, I'll, put, I'll link everything in the description below so you guys know where you can find all these extra little bits and pieces as well. So overall, like who exactly is this for? Well, it's, uh, it's, I guess it's pretty much for cinematographers, but it's also for first ACs as well because as you can see here, the first AC rig is you know quite built out and it's quite decent. Obviously, you'll still need the monitor yourself. You'll need a, a, a video transmitter. Really depends on how you're actually going to be doing this. You can actually have your first AC pull focus right next to you on camera and still be hardwired into the camera itself. Really depends on your workflow, but obviously I've been using this by myself as a cinematographer with the Easy Rig, and uh, you do have that handle that you can actually utilize. You can use it as a shoulder rig with uh, event videography as well. So many different options. Obviously, you're going to be using this with manual focus lenses, so that generally attracts a certain type of filmmaker, and uh, obviously not really a run and gun person, but you know, it just depends. So what do you think guys? Uh, comment below, I'd really like to know your thoughts on this one. Obviously this is a really good system and they are challenging the top dogs when it comes to the budget focusing motors. I really, really do like this and actually, uh, I do recommend it. I absolutely do recommend this. It is a quality build and uh, there isn't really too much wrong with it. There are a few quirks here and there that could be a little bit better for different versions, but uh, I think you're gonna be getting a really good solid tool right here. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. That would be absolutely amazing. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. The link will be in the description below if you do want to check this one out. But yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, let's get it. Bye.